When we think about trying to live a healthy lifestyle, we commonly think of several things like eating a healthy diet, exercising, drinking lots of water, and getting enough sleep. But what if I told you that there are other factors that can influence your health, like the quality of your mother's diet when you're growing inside of her womb? In the Sabota lab at McMaster University, we study the developmental origins of obesity and metabolic diseases. One of the things we study is the communication between the mother and the baby through an organ called the placenta. The placenta acts like a telephone. As the baby grows inside of a mother's body, different chemical signals are exchanged through the placenta. This communication helps the baby grow. And what is particularly amazing is that a new placenta forms during each pregnancy. Interestingly, scientists do not fully understand all of the signals that are exchanged between the mother and the baby as well as between the placenta and the baby throughout pregnancy. Studying these signals allows us to better understand the environment where the baby develops. Our lab is interested in understanding the impact of early life changes on the baby's health. What a woman eats throughout pregnancy is important as it can affect the health of her child later in life. This concept is based on a field of science called the Developmental Origins of Health and Disease, or DOHAD for short. In our lab, we have three main goals. First, we are interested in how changes in a mother's diet can impact her baby's growth and development. Using animal models, we have shown that if a mother eats too much or too little, her baby is more likely to face unfortunate health outcomes later in life, such as obesity, diabetes, early puberty, and high blood pressure. Our lab is also interested in understanding how the bacteria in our gut influence the mother and the baby's health during pregnancy. We and others have shown that these bacteria can change in response to one's diet and body weight. Finally, we are conducting a community outreach and knowledge translation study called the Mothers to Baby Study. In this study, we are gathering data from pregnant women in Hamilton, Ontario, so that we can further explore the correlations between variables such as the extent of a mother's pregnancy knowledge, sociodemographic factors, and her diet. With this data, we aim to develop a public health intervention strategy to ultimately improve the health of mothers and their babies throughout pregnancy. In summary, exploring the early life environment can help us better understand how adverse factors during pregnancy, such as an unhealthy diet, can predispose an individual to disease later in life. Ultimately, this knowledge will allow us to implement interventions that will aim to support knowledge translation and behavior change.